What's good, YouTube? I'm about to do a little Fallout 4 video, and um, I just wanted to, before we start, tell y'all to subscribe to my channel, or I'm gonna come and hunt all y'all down and take y'all phones and make y'all subscribe to my channel. Now I'm just playing, guys. But come on, now I'm almost at 500 subscribers, bro. Y'all gotta help me out, man. I'm trying to reach it, bro. I'm trying to. I'm like. I'm hoping by the end of this year I can at least hit 1K. That's what I'm. That's what I'm predicting. I'm gonna hit 1K. But um, anyway, help me reach 500 subscribers. Just click the little red subscribe button on this video. Leave a like and stuff like that. And uh, let's get into this video, y'all. This is top five Fallout 4 mods that I like. Now the first one is obviously the Sanctuary Hills revamped PS4 because you know like that's like my favorite place to build up my base and stuff and um I like to just build it up because it's huge I can build like a guard tower and stuff next to the bridge in front of the bridge and it looks better because it don't got the puddles in the street it don't got all the grass in the street it don't got like the messed up street lights the houses look a little better um and yeah that's it um before we move on to number four, I was playing on Xbox One a little while ago while I was taking my YouTube break. My video is, I think that was like two months ago. Anyway, go go check that video out. But while I was on my YouTube break, I was playing on Xbox One Fallout 4, and it had this mod called um, Place Anywhere mod. And basically, you, you could just place anything anywhere. All you had to do was set it down, then pick it up, and then push X, and you can place it anywhere, even in a red zone. So, I, I was looking for that mod on PS4, but it seems like it's not on here, and I'm hoping somebody will make it. If you see this video and you make mods for PS4, please make that mod and tell me I will download it. Okay, anyway, y'all, moving on to, to four of the list is no build limit. Like, you cannot play Fallout 4 without this mod. Like, this is like basically a required mod i mean you don't have to require it but if you like building like i do like i don't really play fallout 4 to go out and kill people and do missions and side missions and stuff i play so that i can build up the um the bases and stuff like the castle the sanctuary hills and i go take over other stuff and i build them up too but um this is what you need because the build limit will go over i place a lot of stuff i go into detail about why i'm placing stuff i go into very deep detail i place stuff on shelves i just i i do it all and and the next thing is the ps4 um unlimited settlement objects wasteland no unlock settlement objects wasteland workshop and there's another mod that you gotta install to install this part of the mod. So I'm not sure where is it at. I think it's right here. Legendary, I mean Legacy Edition Unlock Settlement. You download this and then download the USO Wasteland Workshop. Uh, but basically what it do is adds on extra stuff in the Wasteland Workshop so you can build more stuff. Not just the stuff that's in the game, but y'all know what it do. It adds on more doors, like more barns, more walls and stuff like that. And it's basically just extra stuff like really i haven't looked through all of it so i'm not sure but all i really do is use the walls the doors the chairs and all, and all that stuff anyway and then we got let me see number three we got the buffed minuteman militia 2 ps4 version um i think this was originally on xbox one they brought it over to ps4 but anyway i'm not sure anyway guys i'm out of breath <sighs> take a deep breath real quick anyway you throw up a flare basically and like uh, I gotta update it you throw up a flare and they come in with this like like as y'all see the classes right here is level 5 15 25 35 45 55 65 75 85 90 and that's a variant veteran musketeer level 90 now I don't think I have that one I think that's part of the update do you think you got the level 55 power armor unit? I haven't seen that one yet. I've only seen the Ranger level 45. I haven't seen the other ones yet, but I'm I'm about to play right now after this video, so I'm gonna see it. Update it real quick. Downloading. That's done. Enable. Okay, moving on to number two, the cheat container. Now, if you like, like, like I said before, if you like building, you're gonna need this mod. It's just like the unlimited space mod. You're gonna need this mod because it can, like, it puts a container next to the um the workshop 
thing, the little red workshop thing, and it feels like with all the um the circuitry and the concrete and the wood and the steel, like basically it's all the materials you need for building and stuff like that. Like like dude, you could like if you all you gotta do is take everything out the container and put it into the workshop and you can build almost anything you want. I'm not sure about everything because there was some stuff I weren't able to build. I'm sure they're gonna update the mod or whatever. But the other thing is the development room. This for number one, the development room. Developer room, my bad. And like when you go in here and like there's everything. We got the power armor, we got the guns, we got everything.